And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. You have to wonder where game concepts come from sometimes. I mean, there are people, you know, you, you combine different things. Whoever thought that combining the cuteness of a hamster and, oh, wow, look at the hamster, could be combined with the power and majesty of sumo wrestling. So that's what we have here, Sumo Ham Slam. This is a game in which hamsters are competing against one another. Definitely for kids. Uses magnets, hamsters, sumo wrestling. What is this all about? The, it, just look at it. The board is actually placed inside the box, which has open slots here, which you can stick these sticks in. These sticks have magnets on them, which the hamsters can fit on those magnets. Even underneath the board, you can take the hamster and move him around. Now, what you do on your turn is you're going to roll a die. If you roll a die and you get slam, you will challenge the current Yam Slam champion, which is the person who last won a match. And if there isn't one, then it's the first player. Each player takes a stick and they're going to grab their hamster and move to the center of the ring with it. So here we come. We're in the middle, and at this point now, we are trying to knock the other guy out of the ring or knock him over. Ready? And one, two, go. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Out of the ring goes Melody. And it's a best out of three match. So if we fight again and, and then we go back and forth and eventually I fall out, so then she's 1-1. One, one. And then we go back and forth and fight. Oh, right out of the ring again. So then Melody's hamster would get a point. And we would mark it over one on hers with these little pegs. Champions are black. Not champions are red. Now, if that's if you roll slam. If you roll eat, then your hamster gets to eat over here four of these pellets. So now, why would you want him to eat pellets? But in, in sumo sport, being big is obviously a good thing, and that makes him heavier. In fact, if you want to play an advanced version of the game, it says use pennies, and that really will weigh him down. And in a battle, those who have eaten do better. And then the last thing on the die is training. Training means you put each of the other hamsters in the middle, your hamster here, and you get one shot to try and knock each one of them out. If you do so, you get two food chips for each one you knock out. So the game progresses until someone gets five points. They've won five slam matches and at that point they are the winning hamster everyone cheers and the rest go home in defeat all right well this is a silly game it's a, it's one of those games in which it's more about dexterity and all i like the idea of using the magnets to move the hamsters knocking them over i will say that halfway through the games i usually lose interest it's a neat novelty to knock over the other hamsters but halfway through i'm like uh the kids don't seem to mind they seem to be able to go all the way through and they have a good time feeding the pellets and fighting although I guess if someone loses all the time, and if there is some skill to it, if someone loses all the time, they could go away in the tears of defeat. But it's a game that I would highly recommend for children, especially elementary, even older elementary will get a real big kick out of it. What did you think? I like this game because they're like hamsters, the sumo wrestling. I like most, the thing I like of it the most is because you're knocking others down and you're trying to get the most food pellets you can so that Nobody will knock you down. You won't lose. But, um, it's just cute. Especially with the little hair you want to stairs. Oh, yes, cute. There's always that factor. I don't necessarily understand it, but hey, if that works for you, get Sumo Ham Slam. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.